When I did the Wally test, I had a heat issue. The motor got pretty hot around 170 to 180. That's pretty hot in my opinion for what I want. So I've added a heat sink and some fans from Hyperflow. I've also added a third battery mount. I'm gonna show this to you on the table and take it for a drive. Let's see if we can keep this thing cool. Let's go. Here we go. Now that is a Surpass Hobby heat sink and those are Hyperflow fans. These are some older fans, by the way. I'm not exactly sure if they're good to 3 or 4S. I'm gonna run them on 2S, but look at the battery tray I built for this thing. Now this is glued in with E6000. It's not bolted. It kind of wraps the underside right there. It wraps that, glues into place, glued up front here. It is TPU, so hopefully it'll hold up. And uh, pretty much, I'm gonna run these on 2S. Just a simple 2S. Now this is for a full size battery just because there's enough room for it. It actually looks pretty good in there in my opinion, but yeah, you can definitely run a smaller battery if you're not gonna run very long. This was gonna be set up for a big oval where he was gonna be really running full throttle a lot. So that's why I went with such a large battery tray. Okay, let me plug this thing in for you guys. Feels pretty good. Cut them off. And we are ready to go. These are 8,500 milliamp Gens Ace G2. You can see the little balance port thing right there. And we are ready to go. Jump like a crazy guy. It's about running this thing constantly for about four or five minutes and just checking it. It's all about keeping it cool. So hopefully, the heat sink and them fans will do the coolest job on the motor. The ESC was fine. And yes, that corner right there is messed up. I was trying my best to uh, to do uh, fix it for all the water and stuff. But so pretty much this is going to be an uncut video. Just a simple drive. Hopefully I don't crash this thing. I got some dirt in these wheels. Maybe I need some sand shield for it. But I'm curious what this is going to be. Right now the video has been running for a minute. I can't really use full throttle much. Um, with this big pinion gear from the Vitavon motor mount, but... Now, granted, oh, that corner is muddy. I'm kind of surprised these tires are holding up. Red Cat made some good tires for this thing. All right, we're hit at the two minute mark. Oh, it just cut off. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it just cut off. Is it the motor? I know it's not the motor. This isn't a smart system. It doesn't have a sensor on it or any of that. Let's see where we're at on temperature. Okay. Get my little temperature probe thing out. Not cutting anything. Motor. Motor's looking absolutely beautiful. That is cooling off nice. ESC. ESC on the other hand. The ESC just thermal. We're down to about 135 right here on the heat sink. Um, it's a lot hotter inside. So this has got to cool off. I'm really happy with the motor setup. Um, the motor's doing a beautiful job there. We had a hunt. That right there is cool. Now I gotta put a better fan on here. And that's where this battery right here is gonna play a big part of keeping this cool because I'm gonna put another one of these fans by Hyperflow onto the ESC. I'm gonna restart this thing and we're gonna hit the track some more. And I'm running without the body this time too. So, I don't think the body would make a difference. There's no, I know some guys out here run the uh, sand screen and stuff. Now I hope I don't roll it. Cause if I roll it, that body post is gonna, catch some heck but if it thermals out this time I want to 
really get a quick temperature check on that ESC if I can. Now, one thing to think about while you're bashing around, when you're hitting brakes like that, the ESC is basically putting a bit of a dead short. I mean, granted, it's metered and measured, of course. But there is a short on your motor leads. That's your electronic brake, okay? And that is direct key. There it was, there it was, there it was. Let's go get it, let's go get it. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, he isn't looking too bad this time. Oh, my battery's going dead on my drill sensor. Ugh. Darn it. Well, I'm going to restart it. I think that... I think what we've got here is... This is perfect. I need to add some more on this. Because it is, I believe, thermaling out. In case you guys are wondering how sticky and nasty that track is, look at all this. So, like I said, these right here are working like a charm. I got another one of these fans somewhere to put on here. I believe it's the same bolt pattern. And what I'll do is I'll wire that fan right into this plug right here. I'll do a little bit of wiring right through here, and it'll all be powered directly off of this. Now, having this battery right here is awesome because you can do 2S like what I was running, 3S or whatever you want, and you won't offset your batteries. If you run these on 4S off of one battery, you'll have this battery lower than this battery and it could cause you cell problems. So I'm totally happy with what I did there. Now I've got to work on this. Totally happy with the motor temperatures. Absolutely. Now the batteries checked out at 78%. So that wasn't the batteries. Uh, I know I'm pushing. If you guys recall, I did not have any issues with power at all until I went with the larger pinion gear. The motor can take it, but ESC, I believe, is actually showing it uh, being a little bit on the lesser side for this thing, but uh, I could drop back down a tooth on the pinion gear and probably be just fine, and I'm, I may end up doing that, but eventually it's going to have to get an ESC upgrade. I mean, that is box stock. And so far, it's been really impressive, but it's pushing a much bigger motor and more weight, especially with the fan battery, which I like that mount. That mount worked out beautifully, so I'm um, real, real happy with that. And by powering the fans like that, it puts zero added load on the ESC. So I was happy with that. That worked out beautifully. But regardless, I do, it does need more ESC. I think I'm going to do some more mods before I do that, though got a few ideas you guys check that description I'll link up things down below probably not what you want but there are things they are affiliate links it really helps out the channel when you guys use them so if you're gonna go check out a main horizon tower any of those places click a link and go do that it will help out you guys have a great day if you're still watching you are top shelf you are the cream of the crop the pick of the litter you are phenomenal thank you for watching to the end of the video it means a lot to me now, down below, there are links for the products you see, also for channel memberships. If you guys wanna be a part, channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.